One of the most special things about the building is it's its flexibility. When people move into a space, traditionally what happens is you move into that space and you kind of stay there. And the person who's in the lab next to you ends up being the person in the lab next to you for 10 years. The way the medical sciences research has been designed is it's almost like open source in terms of a building. Where people sit in the building, they can move around very easily. The kind of facilities in a particular space, they can be changed. So it's, it literally is pop-up science for real. We'll identify a challenge, we'll tackle it for two or three years. Once it's solved, that group will dissolve, it'll move away, the infrastructure will kind of change, and it gives us a flexibility that we've never, never had before. The first thing we're going to be leaders on is really break down barriers between the academic disciplines and universities. As you walk into any university in the world, the way that science and engineering are practiced are pretty much still separated into silos of chemistry, physics, mathematics, engineering. So now with this new campus, we're now imagining breaking down all the barriers. Now there's no longer a department of X. This is now just a science and technology hub where everything comes together. To me, that's a very exciting way of working. I think that we're wanting to tackle global challenges that are facing society and I guess I'm best placed to give you one example which would be food security because it's where my own research interests lie. But this could affect be any global challenge really because I think the principle is the same in that if you're really wanting to make a step change with research, you need to bring in academics from all sorts of different departments, be that, in our case, biologists, physicists, engineers, and chemists, which I think lies at the heart of a lot of these challenges. Then we can start to have discussions at the interface of all these different disciplines, and the building can act as a central sort of hub for that. It's gonna change the way we organise our research and the way we interact with each other. And that, obviously, as a knock-off effect, will have a great impact on the way we train our particular or postgraduate students. It's going to enhance the experience that they have. They will have a state-of-the-art equipment, they will work alongside leaders in the field. Not only that, because we have the opportunity to work with the stakeholders, with industrial partners. So what we're talking about here is something that's different, something that no one's really thought about. We're not talking about industry coming along and visiting us every three months, every six months. We're talking about true co-location, partnership with industry, partnership with external stakeholders. And that comes back to this kind of an idea, it's more than just a building. It really is a community. The facilities within it, you won't find them elsewhere. You know, molecular hack spaces where basically you can turn any idea into a reality and kind of in, in, at high speed. A challenge room for our industrial partners where they can present their challenges and we put bespoke audiences together for them to generate solutions in, in kind of real time. Entrepreneurship hubs so that our students can basically take their ideas and turn them into small startup companies. The next door to the Medical Sciences Research Hub is what's called the Translation Hub, which is literally a plus 20,000 metre building which is designed to house small startups. And again, that doesn't just help the undergraduates, it helps us. It's not every time in life you get a chance to do something game changing, and this is what this is. It's more than just bricks and mortar, I think it's the ethos that it's going to create that's going to be really exciting. I think it's great that Imperial College has so much faith in the academics to invest such an enormous amount of resources into creating this new space for us to play in. It is a fantastic opportunity to shape the future of chemistry, not only at Imperial, but help shaping the future of chemistry uh, around the world.